Welcome to Ecamm. Today we're going to talk about one of the most integral features of Ecamm, and that is scenes. Now, if you've never worked with a scene based video production platform before, let me explain to you what scenes are. Scenes are like different setups or looks for your video productions, and each scene presents specific arrangements of your video sources, your graphics, your text overlays, and other elements that you use to deliver your message in a consistent way. It's similar to having different camera angles or studio setups. And I often think about it like a standard that you play, say a William Shakespeare play here in Fair Verona, where we lay our scene. Scenes are to me like rooms in the house. If you want a particular form of comfort, you go to the living room. If you want a different form of comfort, you might go to the bedroom or go outside to your chaise lounger with your cup of sweet tea. It really depends on how you want to do it. Scenes are completely up to you. In Ecamm, you can create multiple scenes ahead of time that you could config configure with all different combinations of overlays, cameras, mics, graphics, and test elements. Let me show you some of mine, and these are gonna be some examples, and I'll give you both the outside look and the inside look. So one of my famous scenes that I often use is my overhead. So if I wanted to teach you how to ink a fountain pen, I could set up a scene like this. And to go one step further, I could even drag in the camera that shows my face, so that way I can give directions or give recommendations if I'm talking about this Murasaki Shibuki uh, kind of ink, and I wanted you to see how to work that into a fountain pen, right? One of my other scenes could be something like the browser. I want to introduce you to Ecamm Live. So I can show you a browser while it is in its purest form. I can scroll the pages, go to new pages, so forth, so on, et cetera, and give you that opportunity. Now, also here, I might want to teach you how to set up your mouse. So I'm using a Logitech MX Master 3. And if I wanted to explain how to use this mouse, I could have the ability to share not only that software that I am teaching, using, sharing, giving training on, whatever, but also still you see my camera here, which is available to me. I could even have a guest if I wanted to have a guest or two that were talking through this process with me and I wanted their input or maybe their special setups, so forth, et cetera. It's really up to you. Now, a different way to look at that would be a larger format. And again, with myself in the corner, I could be over here. I could be anywhere. <laughs> I can just transport myself as I move around Ecamm and all this is very easy to do. One of the most common ones will be a podcast setup where I'm like this and I'm talking to my guest, Paul, who's not here right now, but if he were, and what's cool about Ecamm is I can set these things up ahead of time so that I am ready once the guest comes in either through Zoom or our built-in interview feature, I have everything laid out for them. All I need to do is put them into their proper place. I could even show you a presentation. Now I have Keynote open here. And if I were to click on the slide, it would basically go to the next slide. And it's just like doing a presentation, but far more integrated because if I was here and someone had a question, I could even boom, put their question right on the screen and walk them through their question, give them the answer that they need or allow them to provide feedback. Let me take you through one of my favorite scenes that I use a lot, and this is what I call my mechanicals. I use this to remind myself how I have things set up in Ecamm. My brand colors are here at the top, my hex codes that I use for those brand colors, the different type of text boxes that you've seen so far throughout this presentation. I'm able to just use those in a, any particular way I want. I keep my fonts written down. I know what cameras I have connected and even with audio sources I have connected. And I leave this here as a way for me to fix anything should I need to make a change, make a scene on the fly, something of that nature. I also have a checklist as one of my scenes because this is what's really cool. It can remind me to turn on Do Not Disturb, make sure that nothing is muted, check the cameras, run through the scenes, so forth, so on, et cetera. And those are some of my scenes. Again, I'll bring you back to what we call live demo mode so you can kind of see what my scenes list looks like. So let me zoom in and you'll see there's my checklist. I always put it number one, keep it locked. This is the solo camera so that you can see me over here. I have my overhead set up here. There, the browser, the different you know software that I'm teaching, 
my guest scene, Sofa Sonia Center. And at the very, very end, I always hit them with the mahalo scene, you know, because I'm from Hawaii and all of that. The power of scenes in ECAM means if you set your productions up, be it dreams, webinar, podcast, tutorial videos, coursework, seminars, sermons, whatever you're doing, if you set it up like you would do a presentation, like the presentation I showed you from Keynote, you can go directly down your flow and really limit your editing process. This video you're watching right now, completely shot in one take and there'll be no edits because I set my scenes up ahead of time. And if you set your scenes up properly, you can set yourself up for success. Now we'll go into further detail later to show you how to create some of these scenes and some of these overlays, but I wanted you to have this grand overview so you can wrap your head around how scenes work and just know there's limitless possibilities. Whatever your imagination can come up with, there's probably a way to create those scenes. Now I'm going to suggest that you jump into our community because there's tons of people over there creating really, really marvelous things. And you'll see the type of inspiration that you might have. And don't worry if you feel like creating these are going to be a little bit challenging for you. Again, the Ecamm fam, we're a very big family, a community of people who love to help and we're here to help. Now that has been a quick walkthrough through scenes. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, write us a note down in the comment section below and we'll do our best to get right back with you.